normal. Well, B.A., it's easy for fans to jump to that conclusion. But look, the bottom line is you can't look too far ahead. You've got to stay in the moment and enjoy the ride. I wish I had done more of that when I was playing. So here's the Clippers starting group. At small and power forward, it's George and Leonard. Then there's John Wall. Then there's Ivica Zubats. And it's Boston in at the two-guard spot. And I like this. Don't just put Obi on the perimeter or have him spot up. Use that length. Use that toughness. Let him make plays inside. Now here's Wall. In the game against Miami, very impressive. George outside. Pass to Wall. Six on the shot clock. Ooh, Robinson with a block. Here's Randall. Here's the general. That's in. Coming off an assist from Randall. Well, Randall, when he has the ball in his hands, aware that there might be an open teammate. That time he found him. The Clippers have gone 0 for 3 from the floor to begin this one. Yeah, back in the day when I was playing, the Clippers were always an easy win. Now, L.A. is consistently a playoff team. Boy, oh boy, how times have changed. Now here's George. Last game with 30. Controls the rebound and the putback. Oh, phenomenal hustle. He has a knack for those boards. Man, he is tenacious when that ball goes up. Takes it up with both hands and rips it down. And slammed that thing through. <laughs> a nasty two-hander. And your last year in the league, the 12-13 season, you played for the Clippers. Yes, I did. And a great team at that. Blake Griffin, CP3, all in their primes. We won the division for the first time in Clippers history. Team record 56 wins. That year was big in the turnaround for L.A. A stronger defensive presence would have saved them two points. It didn't seem like anybody was really aware there to go and collect that rebound in the possession. Robinson gets the bucket. Their offense is rolling. A perfect start. Four of four so far. Eight, four. That's tipped. And just under two and a half minutes elapsed here in the first. Pass to George. And there's a three-second violation. Three seconds. Next ball. For New York, they've gone four of four from the floor. Perfect start. Here's the general. Wall covering. Here's Robinson. Pass to Barrett. Here's the general. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. That'll belong to John Wall. First free throw is good. For the Clippers, Pascal, he's checked in for Zubats. Goffey comes in for Boston. And Preston subbed in for Wall. The Clippers have gone two for seven. A sluggish start. Time called here. Los Angeles decides to talk it over. Failing to find a rhythm offensively. Something that needs to change and change soon. Yeah, they're like a four-day-old soda right now. Just flat. They're missing shots left and right and just not playing their best. About three minutes gone here in the first quarter. George outside. Pass to Coffee. Remaining in the first. Hits a three-pointer. Knicks. Paul George does. Here's the general. And the standout skill of Paul George is the fact that on both ends of the court, he's going to affect the outcome of the game. So here are the five for the Clippers to start the second. Kawhi and Zubox make up the front court. Then there's Paul George. Then there's John Wall. And it's Austin in at the two. Thanks, guys. Well, the general their last time out against the Grizzlies delivered quite a performance. He scored 45 points this and also played lockdown defense. His fingerprints were all over this game. An astounding game for him, putting up numbers we might be talking about for the rest of his career. Back to you. It really was some night for him. He couldn't have been much better, Grant. Yeah, B.A., there was nothing they could do to contain him. Once he got rolling, it was game on. And sometimes you can just look at a guy and you see the confidence that he's playing with. That's what I like best.
Now here's Wall. What? No scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. John Count the basket. And George is the kind of versatile player that every team is looking for, Brent. Yeah, B.A., with all of that experience, he's able to switch on so many different guys, and he understands what it is they're trying to do. And then on the offensive end, he just scores in a myriad of ways. He's hitting threes, he's driving, he's dunking, he's making plays. P.G., the complete package. Again, the Clippers score. From and they found a P. nice J. slow Austin. offensively here in the second period. Trying to find a spark here. Yes, indeed. A rush stretch offensively. They could really use a basket. Good. On the bucket. That's what you call playing big. He just stays committed to the attack mode. Tip of the cap there. I mean, that defense was good. The finish was better. Now here's George. An effective score for them. Scoring around 21 and a half points a game. Zubats against Randall. Zubats passes to George. Just four to shoot. Some solid defense from Barrett. Uh, for him, it's harder to miss that shot than it is to make that shot. I think he was anticipating a bit of a bump there. And his fantastic performance from the last game has carried over to tonight. Yeah, the coach pretty smart for zoning in on him and giving him opportunities to stay with that confident play. Now here's Wall. They look to him to score consistently, averaging around 13 and a half a game. Pass to Boston. There's the triple. Another miss. He's 0 for 2 now. Man, you get so caught up in the bravado of someone scoring on you and you wanting to even the score. Unfortunately, he couldn't answer back. And the Knicks, another three. Their defense has to do a better job of smothering those shooters. For Los Angeles, they've gone 2 of 4 here in the second quarter. Back to Wall. Leonard on the wing. Pass to Boston. Wall against Brunson. And again, it's the Clippers missing. And here's New York now. Good momentum. Eight straight points in the general. And there's the slam! to finish it off. Yeah, Julius trying to find ways where he can be more effective as a playmaker. Time called here. Los Angeles decides to talk it over. And pick and roll is never more prevalent in the league than they are right now. And there's always someone the defense has to leave open in those scenarios, Grant. Yeah, yeah, you know, it's, it's amazing. It's such a simple play, but it's so difficult to defend, especially with the shooting that we now see in the NBA and the great spacing on the floor. It's a play, as you said, every team uses and executes well in their offensive attack. Here's Mann following the bucket by the Knicks. Yep, that one goes. Man. Man's got 11 points. Terrific design and execution, leading to an opportunity right at the rim. Here's the general. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. First one falls for him. At the line. That one falls, so he hits both of them. Closing in on four minutes played here in the second quarter. Here's Preston, guarded by Quickly. Pass to Pascal. Just five to shoot. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. It's going to go on Mitchell Robinson. He misses the free throw. Eric Pascal at the line. Two shots. He's off on the second. And here's New York now. It's a 12-2 run here. Good pace. Here's the general. There's 57 seconds left to play in the first half. And so he draws the foul. Headed to the line to shoot a pair. Second personal foul. And he drops the first. White side. He's checked in for Randall. At the line. He's perfect from the line this time. There's 53 seconds left in the second period. Pass to Coffee. Here's Preston. Here's Coffee. 15 in his last outing. Shot clock at six. 
And again, no good by the Clippers. New York has gone two of four from the perimeter in the second so far. And the general gets it to go. The three-point shot has been his weapon of choice this quarter. The Clippers have gone three for seven here in the second quarter. Three seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Pass to Preston. Fires the three. It's hauled in by Robinson. Here's the general. And that one is hammered home. I, I really don't think there's any way to slow them down. They have the defense scrambling out there. Well, nothing that they're doing seems to be making an impact. And there are some nights when you just run out of And so it's New York with a nine-point cushion. The Clippers, 26. Well, for those just tuning in, thanks for being with us. Second half of this game still to play. The Knicks with the lead. At the four and the five, it's Randall and Robinson. Then it's R.J. Barrett. Then it's Obi Toppin. And it's the general in at the one. So that's who's on the floor for the Knicks. Tonight, their attack revolves around him. As he goes, so goes the offense. Zubats finds George. Outside wall. Back to George. Jacks up a three. The Knicks with the rebound. And it's amazing. Their slim advantage on the board seems a lot larger than it is. Pass to Barrett. Oh, and a beautiful feed leads to a monster jam. And Barrett will give you these kind of flashes. He got it up that time. Boy, they'd love if anyone could get a bucket. Yeah, their offense has been grinding to a halt. Leonard for three. Gets the three to fall. Leonard's got five now. Love to see that kind of activity. He just makes things happen. A chance here to catch up with Allie from the sideline. Thank you, Brian. Well, Paul George has certainly endured his share of criticism in the past, but he said, quote, I can't worry about that. It comes with the job. I am who I am. They can judge me on what they want. I'm going to go out there and move and give it everything I've got. And guys, he brings a lot to the table. No question. He is elite, Allie. Thank you. BJ And good on the second, so he makes them both. Two-part equation. You have to be aggressive enough to get to the line, then talented enough to sink them. Here's the general. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. It's going to go on Kawhi Leonard. Yeah, and you never want to let shots at the rim go uncontested. He hits the second from the line. And we're just about a minute and a half into the third quarter of basketball. George outside. Pass to Boston. Fires from the line. He squares up and sinks it. Easy look when the defender isn't fighting over the screen. And the coach over there just asking for one simple thing, and that's some effort. Got burned on that one. Time called here. The Knicks decide to talk it over. Get three teachers. For New York, they've got two of three from the floor in this third quarter. Here's the general. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. The first free throw is good. Grimes, he's checked in for New York. So he gets them both. Los Angeles has gone one of two shooting from the perimeter since halftime. Ball for three. He can't get it to go. New York goes the other way with it. Well, they've got the Bulls ahead of them next in Chicago. And that'll be their only game on the road before heading back home. And their offensive game plan is clear. Get it inside and go to work. Well, Brent Canada is well represented in the NBA these days. R.J. Barrett may be leading the charge. Man, if you put together a team of nothing but Canadian players, you'd have a pretty strong five out there. And Barrett's a guy who might be the leader of that squad. Second half of play here. We're just under two and a half minutes past. Kicks it to George. Beyond the arc. On target from range. George has gotten himself going with a triple. His first basket of the game. Here's the general. Ball covering. 
Here's the general. Soft touch off the glass. And the Knicks lead by 12. But they're finding ways to get the ball into the paint. Five consecutive buckets. Outside wall. Two minutes remaining in the third. Pass to George. Fires for three. And they get it back. Wall with it. The three is up. And the rebound goes to the Knicks. Randall's got his fourth rebound in this one. Yeah, it just hasn't been able to find his rhythm offensively. And that's having a ripple effect. Not getting old here. Seeing him make that lead pass with perfect timing. Los Angeles has gone two of six from downtown here in the second half. And the Knicks... And so in the game for the Clippers, Eric Paschal is out there with Paul George. Then there's Ivica Zubac. Then there's John Wall. And it's Boston in a shooting guard. And a big finish by Robinson. Not a coach in the league would be displeased with that kind of energy and effort that Mitchell Robinson showed there. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. They'll pin that one on Julius Randle. Everyone in the building saw the obvious contact. And a look now at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for the Knicks. Just a great job running the floor in transition. Now he realized they were tiring out the defense early, and they took full advantage. And there's been another bonus to what's happened with them tonight, and that's the offensive rebounding. They're boxing out, they're getting up extra shots. That could be a difference maker in the result. The general, no good. The Clippers shooting only 38% from the floor. Not great. They get it again. The Knicks have gotten just one shot to fall out of three attempts in the fourth. Nails it from beyond the arc. Given 39. Oh, man, this would be a different ball game if they didn't have this type of scoring to rely on. Robinson against Wall. And that one goes in as he's fouled. It'll be three points if he converts the free throw. Toppin, he's checked in for quickly. They're doing some good work at the line this half. Fourth quarter still young, just over a minute play. Here's the general. And all close gets it to go. So he'll shoot two here. First personal foul. And he knocks down the first one. And that's good as he hits both shots. Wall with it. George outside. Pass to Zubas. Here's Boston. Guarded by Barrett. George outside. Pocket six. Right at the free throw line. They grab their own miss. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. Third personal foul. Third team foul. And the first one at the line is good. Eric Pascal at the line. Two shots. And so he makes both from the line. And the rise of the internet has helped give players their own voice. But now with podcasts and other streams, Grant, they're also able to monetize their voice. Yeah, players understand the value of their voice and also how to monetize that. Speaking directly to their fans, to their customers, using these different platforms. You know, I think broadcasters need it. I think you and I need to have a podcast, B.A. For sure. I know we can't afford you. <laughs> that might be true. Pass to Boston. Here's George, guarded by Toppin. And here's Wall. Second chance effort. And he lays it up and in. So physical for a one. Wall has the size and skill to do work in the paint. Here's the general. Laid it in with a nice touch off the window. With the finish line in sight, this guy is determined to be the one to put the game away. Time called here. The Clippers decide to talk it over. Oh my, their coach does not look happy, and I can guess why. Their interior defense has been struggling. 
No, they're not preventing them from scoring. And if you can get to a high-efficiency shot on the floor, and that's the paint, you just keep going. And now a moment to present the New Balance Player of the Game. He has truly put on a show out there tonight, tearing it up on both ends of the floor. So impressive. And the other squad has looked helpless to stop him. Boy, you can see the amazing relationship he's built with the hometown fans. And it motivates him to always give them his very best. George outside. Leonard passes to Wall. And the Clippers miss again for New York. They've gotten four shots out of six attempts to drop so far in the fourth. Oh, yes, sir! Oh, that's what you took wow. out right there. Wow. And the dunk to finish it off. Oh, beauty. He's a living highlight reel. Seriously, that could end up being one of the best dunks of the year. Leonard passes to Wall. George outside. Let's go with a three. Man, the basket's good with the assist from Wall. Think about the rookie year that PG had. He shot under 30% from the three-point line, but all that tireless work in the offseason and now such a vital part of his game. Timeout called. The Knicks. They're leading by 15. 143 left to play in the fourth quarter. 143 left in the fourth quarter. Here's the general. It's hauled in by the Clippers. Leonard's got four rebounds now. Here's Boston. Oh, and another three for the Clippers. You can trust Wall to find those openings. He's a talented distributor who wouldn't miss that chance. Here's the general. Wall covering. Here's the general. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. And good whistle there. The first one falls. At the line, two shots. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. Well, your Hall of Fame dad, Rick, made some interesting comments, Brent. One of them encouraging the league to crack down on illegal screens. John no way, B.A. My dad said something that was controversial or interesting. You got to get, get out of here. Yeah, I mean, illegal screens... Do we want to see less of them? Sure. Well, with a comeback out of range, we can put a bow on this one. Good performance for the Knicks. What would you say the deciding factor in this game was, Grant? Yeah, B.A., ultimately you have to look at their field goal percentage. They were the more efficient team because they found clean looks all night. And this victory will put them at 36 wins on the year. And with this one all but in the record books, they set the tone in the first of what will be only two meetings between these teams. And one player just stole the show tonight, doing everything for his team. A monster night for the general. He just knows how to fill it up, and that's exactly what he did tonight. Nobody that they assigned to him could really get a handle on him. Three-pointer, no good. And here's New York now. Here's the general. No luck on that one. Pass to Leonard. Got it. That's great touch from the swing man as Kawhi knows that he can capitalize from that area and he can get there anytime he wants. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. That one's good for two. And the Knicks lead by 13. You can feel the excitement in this arena. These guys have done one heck of a job. Yeah, huge motivation. Always great for a young team, but... Veteran players also appreciate when fans come with that kind of energy and get into the spirit of the game. And where was this type of effort earlier in the game? Unfortunately, this run will be all for nothing. Consistency definitely is a, a key to some of the playoff performing teams. And tonight they just did not find it in this contest. George, no good. Now here's Randall. And so it's the Knicks taking care of business in this one. A competitive game. You have to feel like this crowd gave them a little extra edge. Yeah, they really fed off the energy. You saw their activity level go up. Just a tremendous performance. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. So alongside Grant Hill, Allie LaForce, Brent Barry, and our entire two...
You know, Thanksgiving is right around the corner now, and I'm personally thankful for my squad, the friends and community members that I've met along the way through 2K. What about you, Alexis? You know what I'm thankful for. Team 2K TV. We want to know what are you thankful for? Share with us on social media using the hashtag 2KTV. Thanks. And Greg, you were talking about this. What you appreciate about this matchup, the team first mindset on both sides. Very unselfish. And we're going to see guys moving the ball. And Kevin, they play for one another. That's why these clubs rack up so many assists. So a look at our starters for the Knicks. Randall and Robinson will be the inside pair. R.J. Barrett is out there with the general. And it's Toppin in at the three, the small forward. And here are the Bulls now. They couldn't put the pieces together, losing the last matchup with the Lakers. And that was a tough one. They expected to play well and did, just not well enough. I think they had some key takeaways from that one. Things they did well and things they could improve upon. Most losing teams are looking to rebuild, look for the future, but not in Chicago. Yeah, their idea to turn it around was to get all-stars. Trading for Vooch in 21 during a losing season and signing DeMar as a free agent. That's a refreshing approach. Still looking for improvement from the line. Randall could pick up a couple extra points a game if he did. Levine kicks the ball. Outside Williams, the three. It's rebounded by New York. They beat the Bulls during their last encounter in Chicago. And it was pretty much a cakewalk for them the last time these two squared off and had a clear advantage on the backboard. They generated second chance opportunities on one end, preventing them on the other end. That was the story of the game. And it doesn't even matter that he's surrounded on that possession. He's got the size to pull those boards down anyway. There's Levine. It's going by Barrett. And here we go with Toppin running it up the court. And how about just floating to the rim on that slam? Boy, when he gets up, I mean, he gets up. And so it's ball with it. He brings it up for the Chicago Bulls. From the arc. And misses it off the right side of the rim. And really, that is why he is feared as a defender. Right in your face on that shot. Moved his feet, timed it perfectly. That's how you get stops. Love it. And the Knicks with possession here. Following the miss by DeRozan. Here's the general. Boy, was he something else against the Clippers. Here's Randall. Uses the glass to finish the lane. Randall. You want to talk about bully ball? Randall at 250 pounds, overpowering the field. And with an update from the sidelines, let's check in with David Aldridge. Well, a bit ago, Billy Donovan and I were able to talk. He told me they'll be looking to stretch the defense with their ability to knock down shots from deep. He said success on the outside will translate to success on the inside. Sounds like instead of going inside out, we're going to go outside in. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David. You know, hard to create spacing without the threes. What a beautiful look. Randall continues to round out his game in the prime of his career. And now the first time out called here for the Bulls. Uh, let's see if Coach can get them back on the right track. Because right now it feels like the pace is being dictated to them. They need to go back to playing their brand of basketball. So Chicago are going with an almost entirely new group here. Cody Zeller's checked in for Vucevic. Noel comes in for Williams. Neesmith, he's checked in for Levine. And it's Alex Caruso in for Lonzo Ball. Then for the Knicks, Whiteside's checked in for Robinson. Reynolds comes in for Julius Randle. And quickly in for R.J. Barrett. And, and Smitty in that 21-22 season. DeMar DeRozan proved to be one of the top closers in our game. You're totally right, G.A. He led the NBA in fourth quarter points and finished second in clutch scoring. He embraced the challenge and thrived playing the role of the hero. Here's Caruso after the made shot from the general. DeRozan scanning the floor. And the pass to Caruso. Down to five on the shot clock. And it's blocked by Whiteside. 
Whiteside gives enough space, waits, elevates, quality block shot by the big fella. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic and is a big part of why they've been able to get these good looks. Caruso finds Zeller. Now here's Caruso. Pass to Zeller. Pass to Noel. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. First it's going to be on Obi Toppin. Second team five. Let's look at the energy stats, how the hustle game the has been going ball. for the Knicks. What they've done is they've looked to push the pace in transition. Substitution on the court. Setting the floor for the Knicks. The forward spots will be Barrett and Randall. The general is out there with Jalen Brunson. And it's Robinson in at the five. Outside ball. Five to shoot. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. You know, Greg, we talk a lot about Ball's offense, but his defense is just as important to this team. Oh, Kevin, very disruptive. He has terrific positional size, and he can anticipate where the offense is going. And the Knicks hit again from deep. Yeah, that's back-to-back -back threes. The D just seems to be slacking off a little bit. Outside, Levine. Here in the second quarter with a little over a minute gone. Here's Neesmith. And he didn't get quite enough under that one. The shot's there for him, and he's got to take it. I don't care if he doesn't convert. That's a shot he has to continue to take. Here's the general. He's guarded by Williams. Here's game face. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. Greg, you look at a player putting up big numbers on a losing team. How do you determine if those are quality numbers, so to speak? You know, Kevin, it's a, a great question because somebody's going to put up points or, or collect rebounds or get assists. So, you know, you look at efficiency, you, you look at effort, and there's no doubt that you can have winning players on losing teams. It's time now to hear from our Hall of Fame reporter, David Aldridge. What's the latest, David? Hey, Kevin. Well, the general in his last time out against Los Angeles was a man on a mission. He finished with 57 points and throughout the game took smart, efficient shots that found the bottom of the net. He racked up big numbers in what was a really good performance. Can he carry it over tonight? We'll see, Kevin. Okay, David, thanks. It'll be interesting to see, Greg, how much of that performance carries over to tonight. And, Kevin, different scenarios call for different measures. I'm sure he'll just try to provide whatever they need for the win. Well, that's what it means to be unselfish, putting the team's interests first. As you say, he just wants to come away with the W. Hard to figure out how he doesn't knock that one down. No defender in sight. Levine passes to Neesmith. Back to Levine. Pass the ball to stop the run. And that comes off the assist by Levine. Ball's got four this quarter. Reliable three-point shooting is so important. Lonzo works hard to deliver that for the team. On the wing, Levine. Yep, that one goes. Levine's got his second basket. That was big because they dug a big hole in the first quarter, but starting to show signs of life. Here's game face. Good T by Williams. I'll tell you what, I think he thought that was going in. I sure did. Levine kicks the ball. Now the pass to Neesmith. Vucevic trying to get open. And it's in after a nice bounce off the right side. And their shots are falling now with more regularity than we saw at first. Here's the general. He's guarded by Williams. And he gets the whistle for the three-second call. Zeller's checked in for the Bulls. DeRozan comes in for Neesmith. The Knicks also changing it up. Toppin comes in for Robinson. And quickly in for Jalen Brunson. 
Ball kicks to Levine. Outside to Rosen. Over Barrett. That one off the back iron and out. Very surprising. He gets the ball where he wants it in a decent matchup. The general can't get it to go. Missing that one helps out all the analytical guys from the mid-range. Releases. It'll go, and the Nick lead is cut down to 11 on the bucket from DeRozan. With a full head of steam in the open floor, there aren't many ways to stop DeRozan from scoring. Oh, oh inflicting some punishment with the two-hand flush. Ah, they're going for the throat. Ball, the pass to DeRozan. Back to ball. 35 seconds left in the first half of basketball. Wow. That's it. He's got two made now, and he's shooting two for three. And now you see them starting to really work the ball inside. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. That one on DeRozan. The next shooting their seventh and eighth free throw attempts for the game right here. And they've had really good numbers all season from the free throw line. Merlin's Noel checks in for Chicago. Alex Caruso comes in for Lonzo Ball. Stolen away. The general passes to Quickly. And that one good. Quickly's got his second basket of the night. And they keep hammering away at him inside, forcing the ball into the paint. Al Levine hands it from short range. Inside, Zach can be so crafty, working around the D and biting his shot. Here's game face. Oh, and the buzzer beater's good. One eye on the rim, one eye on the clock. That's the nice end job. of the first half. What I love, there was no panic on his part. That's what and so it's New York finding a 15-point And after a very lopsided first half, we'll see if things play out a little more evenly here in the second. And you know the general has been really making it happen, guys. Definitely been challenging the defense here early on, not settling for anything outside. He's been very effective on the move, forcing the action, getting to his spots, and finishing plays. Williams and Vucevic hold down the post for him. The win set for him, Levine and DeRozan. And it's ball in at the point guard position. That's Billy Donovan's five as we get going here in the second half. You know he's going to take a lot of shots out there. He's their number one option right now. Bulls trail by 15. You know, Greg, some guys are late bloomers. But DeRozan, he was just the opposite. Yeah, reports are he had handles at age three. First dunk came in the sixth grade. Five-star high school prospect. And in a strange way, he's still an underrated superstar. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. And he'll shoot two free throws. The rugged nature of Randall's game. Just daring defenders to foul. Substitution on the court. Shooting for New York. At the line for one. And that one misses. And nowadays, it seems like players have more opportunities than ever before. But Steve, does that add to the challenge of balancing on the court versus off the floor? It does for some individuals, but I love the opportunities that they're getting, and I love they're taking advantage of it. Most of the guys can juggle and balance both. I like how Alex Caruso gives his team an instant energy boost out on the floor. He's always working overtime. That is not possible. What we just... <laughs> is, is that possible? I, I think it is, Greg. Not probable, but like impossible, <laughs> like you said. Mixed foul. And this is his First second trip to the line in the game. Thirteen foul. The free throw drops for Caruso. The line for the ball. And one of the problems Alex in the first half, that shoddy work at the free throw line. They needed to fix that, and they've been much improved since the break. Who's got ball? Here's game face. Can't get it to fall. And so Caruso will bring up the ball for the Chicago Bulls. After this one, they're off to Philadelphia to take on the 76ers. That'll be just one game played away from home for them. 
The floor awareness of ball excels at getting the ball to his uncovered teammates. He had a defender all over him. Fourth. And we'll get a look at how the hustle stat game has been going for the Knicks. Their defense. It's their defense. It has been downright incredible so far. Being disruptive and coming up with steals left and right. And also, guys, they've been showing how dangerous they are in the open floor. When they see a chance to get easy points, boy, they just jump at it. Zach Levine's checked in for Lonzo Ball. They get it again. The Knicks leading by 21. Here's game face. And it's good for two. The Generals got 30. And at the offensive end, he's done about as much as they could have hoped for today. Here's Zeller and the dunk by Zeller. Alex Caruso, he can make that pass in his sleep. Pass to the General. Takes the three, drills it from outside. The Generals got 11 points here in just the second half. And they have been relentless from deep. And you see the defense trying to react, but to no avail. You know what? They talked about this at halftime, and they're doing a better job of creating space. And at the end of the third quarter, a huge lead, and this one may already have been decided. It's the Knicks just the Knicks. dominating this one. We'll get... And let's take now this moment to bring up our State Farm assist of the game. Man, he's always been uh, the favorite to back this honor. These kind of feeds are his bread and butter. This is what you need your floor general to do. Take charge, lead by example, unselfish play. And with the fourth quarter upon us, time is running out for this game to become competitive. And on the floor for New York here in the fourth. Randall and Robinson will be the inside pair. The general is out there with Emmanuel quickly. And it's Barrett at the three spot. And there's the block. Just stops it cold and takes possession. They have been board dominant in this game. That's definitely been a factor in crafting this huge lead. Here's game face. Good on the triple. Three. The general's got 38 points. And certainly... They are not hesitating, letting it fly from deep here in the second half. Robinson against Vucevic. Over Robinson, and it's Vucevic missing. You know, the right thing there to try to fade away with the D all over him, but that is a difficult shot to sink. Here's game face. Another bucket. Wow. Well, he's gone up to 40 as he continues to just dominate. You're right. We knew he had a shot at it tonight. He is now tied for third for the most 40-point games in a season. And you can put him in the same breath as Michael Jordan. They both can say they had 37 games of 40 or more. And we've made our way through just over a minute and a half in this fourth quarter. And to get open is Robinson. The general can't get it to go. The Bulls shooting 55% from the floor. They're feeling very confident offensively. Will it go? And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. It's on R.J. Barrett. Substitution on the court. Ball finds DeRozan. Williams against Randall. On the wing, Williams. Outside, ball. Six on the shot clock. Three-pointer. That one misses. And New York will come the other way. And physically, there's no doubt they've been the stronger team. A plus 10 rebound advantage tells you all you need to know. Over to the wing. Back to Levine. On the wing to Rosen. And stolen by Fournier. Here's the general. Vucevic defending. Excellent on both ends of that play. Yeah, the steal was sharp, but the slam topped it off. 
turning defense into offense. Every coach talks about it. Perfect example right there. Williams kicks to Levine. It's rebounded by New York. Randall's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Here's game face. Makes it off the glass. The Generals got 44. I mean, already hot coming into the game. Is it fair to say he's hotter? And one team is just completely outclassing the other tonight. Spirited performance. And it really ignited what is turning out to be a monster win here for the Knicks. And this was one that never really was in doubt, but an all-around dominant performance. And you kind of thought that maybe even going into the game. Yeah, there was a sense of that in men. They, they just pretty much blew them right out of the water. A clinic was put on display here today. And so checking out the record for these guys tonight will mark win number 37 for them on the year. And, and they've taken control of the season series. This brings them to 2-0 and oh with one game left against this squad. And you know, when you look at the huge impact he had, just a monster game for the general. High-level shot making what we got a chance to witness. He responded to good defense with better offense time and time again. Here's what Chicago's going with right now. Ryan Kaminsky, he's checked in for Vucevic. And Noel subbed in for DeMar DeRozan. Whiteside's checked in for the Knicks. Here's game face. It's hauled in by the Bulls. Eight second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Here's Williams. Beautiful dish and the layup goes down. Quality possession. Lonzo orchestrating right now. Delivering a pinpoint pass. And they can just dribble the ball until the buzzer. Yeah, they got to be happy with the outcome. And he hits it and gets hacked on the play. A three-point possibility if he can convert the free throw. First yeah, foul. they suck the energy out of this arena. Tremendous effort on the road. And when you're on the road, you can't be tentative coming into a game like this. I thought their aggressive approach was the difference. And Caruso's got the ball here for the Chicago Bulls. Terry, the pass to Caldwell. Back to Terry. And it's blocked by Whiteside. So no problem for New York as they get the win. This one was over well before the final buzzer. The fans were waiting for something to get excited about, Greg, but they never got it. They sure did. I mean, they just rolled to this win. They made it look really easy. What an efficient performance at both ends. And that'll do it, folks. For Greg Anthony, David Aldridge, Steve... Welcome to a new episode of NBA 2K TV. We're always looking out for community members that are helping you out in one mode that has seen... Well, Grant, we've seen the NBA evolve quite a bit since your playing days. How do you think you'd be used in today's game versus when you play? Well, B.A., with the spacing in today's game and my ability to slash to the rim, I think I would still be able to get to the basket, dominate in the mid-range, but I'd be shooting way more threes, and I would see more minutes playing as a small ball power forward as well. Here's the starting group for the Milwaukee Bucks. Inside at the four and five, it's Giannis and Portis. Drew Holiday out there with Gary Harris. And it's Middleton in at the three spot. Holiday from long range. And he can't get that one. The Knicks go the other way with it. Well, they put up a nice win against Chicago last time out. Sometimes it's difficult to get good looks on the road, but they ran the offense brilliantly. And it was funny, the road arena didn't bother them at all. I mean, they locked in, focused, and executed and got it done. Misses from short range. Now the Knicks with it. It's a five-point game. This, of course, their first opportunity to play Milwaukee this season. Last year, this team got the better of them in the season series. So they're looking to correct that. And, you know, with two teams in the upper pyramid in the early going, important to establish that pecking order, especially within your conference. So this game is important. 
And the shot goes in. Ooh, Holiday. Boy, Holiday's a strong guard. Does not mind mixing it up at all. He can play physical if he needs to. About a minute and a half through the first quarter. Outside Barrett. Here's the general. He's covered by Holiday. The general, no good. Yeah, he just flat out tricked that one, missed it, and has no one to blame but himself. You know, for this Bucks team, they seem to play together as well as any team we've seen recently. Yeah, this team has a bunch of players who complement each other very well. And they've got so many different ways that they can play on the floor. That's what makes them so successful. Well, that <laughs> and Giannis. Boy, they're on fire right now. Cooking with gas, starting this one out 4-5. or five. Milwaukee has gone 0 for 2 from outside. Things just don't seem to be clicking for them offensively. Yeah, they really need to find a way to get back on track. Harris passes to Portis. Outside Holiday. New York foul. First personal foul. First team foul. Pass to Harris. Six to shoot. Middleton from the outside. And whether it's the defensive effort or just bad offense, they're holding their opponent to a very low field goal percentage. Bottom line is, they're ahead on the scoreboard, and that's all that matters. Now here's Ana Kumpo In the game against Miami, very impressive. Boy, the overwhelming strength of Giannis just excels at fighting his way through the defense. Very impressive. Here's the general. It's hauled in by Portis. And we're about three minutes into this first quarter. Middleton passes to Holiday. Two minutes remaining. And first. that comes off the assist by Drew Middleton. Holiday. Holiday's got his second basket. How about Middleton. the court vision of Middleton? Just so good at finding the open man. Here's the general. Coming off an unbelievable high-scoring game. Knocks down the triples. And that's what they want to do. Get him open looks early. Timeout called. Milwaukee. Well, Clark, Chris Middleton not slowing down when it comes to his production. Yeah, I love the fact he's improved so much as a passer, B.A. Sharing the ball more than he ever has and doing it more effectively. And, of course, we know what he can do when he looks to score. He is a bucket. Now here's Holiday. We saw him with 19 his last time out. Minute 32 left in the opening quarter. Here's Bochamp. The Bucks need to get up a shot here. And it's good with time running down on the shot clock. Holiday's got six. Some nasty handles from Holiday. Even the defense shaking its head and all. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. First team foul. And he makes a first. Two shots. Hits both from the stripe. We've got 108 left in the first quarter. Holiday passes to Harris. Back to Holiday. Just five on the clock. And misses it off the right side of the rim. New York has gone two for three from outside the arc. Here's Reynolds. Over to the left wing. Three-pointer. And the general gets it to go. He's got 17. And his fantastic performance from the last game has carried over to tonight. And you know that's how it goes with him. I mean, his hot streaks, guys, don't last minutes. They last days. Here's Mama Kelishvili. Well, he hasn't scored yet, but I'm sure that'll change. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. You know, in the case of Drew Holiday, having two brothers in the league, I think probably has added motivation for him to excel. Drew Holiday at the line. Two shots. That free throw, no good. And he sinks the second. For New York, they've gone six of nine and finding their rhythm now. Here's the general. 
And he was fouled in the act of shooting. Opportunity for a three-point play here. Oh, he's really been on a roll this quarter. Seems like everything he throws up is finding Bob. We've got 13 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Pass to Middleton. Takes one from 10 feet. And the Bucks miss again. More often than not, he'll cash it in from that area. The defense might have done just enough to bother him. And so it's the New York Knicks closing out the quarter ahead by 11 points. Getting lots of great looks. Shooting it well. That's why they're up. We're coming right back. Don't go anywhere. Just tuning in, we've got a wide margin on the scoreboard, but plenty of time left for a comeback. And a comfortable margin for the Knicks here, guys. Great offensive energy in that period. They're clearly on a mission. Yeah, I agree. That was a flawless offensive performance so far. I mean, the shots have been falling. They're making good decisions. That's a nice recipe there. At the four and the five, it's Randall and Robinson. Then it's R.J. Barrett. Then there's Jalen Brunson. And it's the general in at the two. That's the group for New York starting the second. All right, let's get a report from Allie. Thanks a lot. Well, Giannis Antetokounmpo has won MVPs, Defensive Player of the Year, and a championship. But he says, quote, I am not satisfied. As the leader of this team, that's the tone I set. I don't care about trophies. I care about getting better. And that's what I've done my entire career. Brian, he stays focused. Nose to the grindstone, Al. Thanks for that. In the first quarter, he was killing them from outside. But he can't get it going here. Perhaps the best trait of Giannis is loyalty, Clark. Love that about him, B.A. Pass to the general. Here's Whiteside. Takes the assist and lays it in. Nice setup. And the Knicks lead by two. And once more this half, they find a way to get great position inside. Holiday against Quickly. And he's headed to the line for two. He gets the whistle there. There you see how tough Holiday is. He simply pressed and forced the issue there and got the defense to overcommit. And a chance for a moment to check out the scoring breakdown for the Knicks. You know, right from the start, it seemed they got hot from three-point range, pulling apart the defense and racking up the points, too. You have to like the fact that they're not settling at all. I mean, they've really made a point to get the ball down inside and challenge that interior defense. Now here's Holiday. He's got 14. Down low. And Holiday powers it home. Tonight, we're seeing what Holiday's capable of. He's a total team guy, wants to set up other people, but he can also carry the offensive load if called upon. And they're going to count that bucket, and they'll send him to the line. It could be a three-point play. He is torching a defense that simply has no answers for him was the exact same At kind of offensive the showcase for him in their last game, too. When it happens this often, that's, uh, that's not a pattern. That's a characteristic. Here's Bochamp. Boy, he's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Drives to the hoop. Out to Harris. From downtown... That shot is off. Great job of closing the space and getting a And so a close game as we wrap up the first half of play. 37, the box, 32. We've got second half action for you. And if the next couple of quarters are similar to the first, this one could go down to the last possession. The officials have been a little stingier with the whistle recently. Clark, you think fewer fouls called is good for the game? I like to see the game play with a certain amount of flow. So you've got to give some latitude to the physicality. And I am in favor of fewer fouls being called. The officials do a good job, I think, of judging advantage, disadvantage. 
and it's much more appealing to the fans when the game flows more fluid. So on the floor for Milwaukee, Middleton is the three with Giannis playing the power forward. Gary Harris out there with Drew Holiday. And it's Portis in at the five. And the Knicks with the possession here after the Bucks picking up a basket just moments ago. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. I like that. I mean, some physical play inside. He's not about to give up any easy baskets. And, you know, the defense gets their money's worth on that foul. Stopping the layup and not giving up the and one. Thanks, guys. Well, the general of their last time out against the Bulls was a man on a mission. He finished with 47 points, and his defense stood out as well with a number of impressive steals on the night. A Hall of Fame level performance the whole league is talking about now. It was a masterpiece. Guys? Thanks, Allie. Absolutely. He was a one-man show in that one, Grant. Yeah, he was not going to let them lose that game. We'll see if he comes in with that same mentality tonight. Yeah, you know, every night's different. They may try to double him might force him to adjust or force him to make plays with the pass instead. We'll see. Pass to Randall. No one near him. No good. Off the front rim. No excuses. None. I mean, with the defense non-existent, I mean, he has to connect from there. Making sure of it with the two-hand slam, B.A. Yeah, I don't blame him. With the score this tight, you cannot take a chance here. I get the feeling, guys, that he may be sensing that this is a critical time in this game. Here's the general. Give him 30. Count it and one. He'll have a chance at a three-point play. They pin that one on Giannis Antetokounmpo. Jalen Brunson, he's checked in for Toppin. The rise of Chris Middleton has been fantastic to watch. He's proven to be a very skilled two-way threat and a lethal clutch score. Now here's Middleton. Now quiet so far offensively, searching for his first points of the game. Clock at six. And he lobs it up to the rim. And it's on to Kumpo with a miss. Looking for the spectacular and coming up empty. And you know, guys, always a tough catch on the lob. Placement and timing have to be close to perfect. The general, no good. And let's not forget, Middleton is a former second-round pick, Clark. And he's had to work harder because of that, B.A., and that's part of what... Emmanuel quickly at the line... One shot. The free throw drops for quickly. Everybody knows Giannis is elite. But just in case you have any doubt, he's got a trophy case you need almost the whole team to lift. Otto de Kumpo, the pass to Middleton. Good. And Otto de Kumpo gets the assist. Middleton's gotten himself going here. His first point to the game on the deep ball. Here's the general. And they waste no time getting those three points back. And the Knicks lead by seven. Deep into the game, you rely on players like him to keep delivering. Back to Kumpo. Pass to Middleton. Over quickly. Middleton, no good. Yeah, that's another miss for him. They're behind in this game largely because he shot so poorly. And he drives in and sends it home. <laughs> I think he's rubbing it in a little bit here, hanging up there like that. Yeah, they're not backing off at all, are they? Here's on it Oh, and the jam by Giannis. And when the Greek freak takes flight, I mean, he's looking to tear that rim apart. So ferocious in his throwdown. Here's the general. Anadokounmpo covering. Here's the general. And it's off from three-point range. Knocks it loose. And so it's New York. Closing out this quarter with a seven-point lead. And it's 55. The Bucks. All right, let's take a look at our assist of the game presented by State Farm. <laughs> yeah, just shredding the defense with that feed. Zero chance to stop that. Yeah, that's just a brilliant read of the defense. I mean, it was also excellent anticipation of the movement of his teammates before the pass. Just great harmony on all sides. And this is it. Glad to have you along for this fourth quarter. Top it out there with R.J. Barrett. 
Then there's Mitchell Robinson. Then there's Jalen Brunson. And it's the general in at the two. So that's who's on the floor for the Knicks. Rejected by Anita Kumpo. Uh, you know, he's almost the perfect defensive player. He's got length and speed. Oh, wow! Oh, Watch oh, out below. Big finish. Playing from behind, it's amazing he chose a dunk with that high a difficulty rating. Yeah, no question. That was a stellar move with plenty of swagger. I don't care what the score is there, fellas. That's the play you'll remember from this game, clearly. Hey guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown for New York. Well, you know, throughout this game, they've shot the ball extremely well from downtown. Their shooters are getting open and letting it fly. And also, guys, great job hitting their free throws tonight, too. Taking advantage of those freebies makes a huge difference. Harris down low. And that one's long. New York has got six out of 15 threes so far in this game. Here's the general. Hits yet again. Wow! Once again, he's hit the 40-point mark as he has been nothing short of stellar all season long. And now he's moved into third all-time for most 40-point games in a single season. Timeout called. Milwaukee. And something fans don't always get to see. Some of the closely guarded secrets that happen in that huddle. Typically, there's some type of adjustment made out of the timeout. It might be major or it could be just a slight tweak. Gives us a chance to catch up with Allie LaForce. Over that last break, guys, I got a chance to hear what Mike Budenholzer said to the team. He was trying to ignite some fire, saying, where's the fight, you guys? You know we can compete with this team, but we're letting them run all over us. We've got to level up the aggressiveness. Back to you. Great work, Allie. Thanks. Holiday finds Harris. Milwaukee, no good that time either. The Knicks with the lead. The three, Barrett. Adetokounmpo grabs the board. Adetokounmpo has got his sixth rebound on the night. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. It goes on Obi Toppin. Well, that's just an assertive play by Giannis against tough defense, drawing a foul and still getting the shot off. And he makes the first, but misses the second. The Knicks have gone one of four since the fourth quarter began. Here's the general, pounded by Harris. And that one's good. 43 points in the game. Adds to their lead. They've been able to rely on him all night. Here's Anadokounmpo. And Toppin pulls it down. The Knicks have gone two of five from the field in this final quarter. Here's the general. Got a hand on it. Defense. That is his signature car. Drew Holiday, an elite stopper on the perimeter. Harris passes to Portis. It doesn't go for him. Good work defensively by Robinson. Here's the general. He's covered by Holiday, and he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. Second team. Man, good whistle there. Yeah, you can hear the smack all the way over here where we are. First one falls for him. For the Knicks, Randall comes in for Barrett, and it's Grimes in for Brunson. Both shots good from the strike. The Bucks shooting 47% on this one. Looking efficient. And so he draws the foul. Headed to the line to shoot a pair. Help in that one on Julius Randle. He is creeping up in those all-time conversations. Giannis has won regular season and finals MVP plus defensive player of the year. Quite the resume. And he is not done for a while, folks. No need to rush here. Take your time. Take your time. This is where you can reset and try to get a good shot. And Milwaukee has possession. Two minutes. They trail by 11. Two so it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. Harris's confidence and physicality and determination to allow him to draw fouls as he gets close to the basket. And the play-in tournament has been a success. But some debate about whether the stats should count towards postseason stats. Granted, kind of falls in the abyss 
how do you think we should reconcile? Well, B.A., first of all, it is the postseason. It's exciting. Everyone's watching. So much is on the line. This is high-pressure elimination games. And, yes, there have been some great performances that we've seen in the play-in tournament thus far. So I think these stats should be included in postseason numbers for players. And so he hits both. The Bucs have got one out of six shots to fall in this final quarter. Not ideal. Randall against Anadokounmpo. Pass to Middleton. Releases. Offensive rebound. Bucks. Harris's shot is good. Yeah, I like the extra effort Harris is putting in to crash in the offensive glass. Good timing by Gary that time. Here's the general. And the layup is good off the glass. And the Knicks lead by 12. And it's just totally relentless. Only increasing the intensity level. Yeah, I love the fact he doesn't play the score. He just keeps coming. Attack mode. He doesn't know how to step off the gas pedal. From 10 feet away. And Harris gets it to go on the assist by Anadokounmpo. Anadokounmpo's got three assists tonight. New York calls timeout. They lead by 10. 1-10 left in the fourth quarter. And now let's present our New Balance Player of the Game. Well, he has absolutely been ferocious in this one. Right from the opening tip. I mean, he's made his presence felt. It's been impressive watching him outwork and out-hustle everybody during this game. Hey, these fans love him so much. And when he gets it going, they respond. The crowd's energy fueled his performance. Here's the general, hounded by Harris. Shot clock at six. Second shot opportunity. Pass to the general from behind the arc. Good. He hits again. And that's 52 points for him. Making it all look too easy right now. It's tipped. Tries again. And out of the football with the lay-in. 32 seconds left in the fourth quarter here. Out left to the wing. Here's the general. Hounded by Harris. And the general gets it to go. Hey, guys, that's got to be the dagger. This is how you finish a game. Yeah, what a time to put the hammer down. Any hope of a comeback diminished. The shot that time, not on target. Good work defensively by Robinson. Pass to the general. Fires from deep. And again, New York with the triple. Their home crowd has energized them all game. Now they're closing it out. And I think they can start that celebration right now. I mean, what a terrific team victory. And so it's the Knicks taking care of business in this one. We saw two different teams tonight. One played with confidence, operating flawlessly. The other just went lost. And the energy in this building was awesome. The crowd was involved from the jump. And once they started to really pour it on, it was fun to see how it all came together. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast.